Hi everyone! Today's video is going to be a quick video about the read-alouds that we've been reading in our homeschool this Ramadan. So the first one I want to show you is Five Prayers Each Day by Elizabeth Limer. This is a short story teaching small kids about how to count, how to count to five using the five daily prayers. And then we've got Angels and Rainbows, again by Elizabeth Limer and Brooke Allen. And this is a really sweet story about a little girl who likes to wake up for a fudger with her dad, but she gets scared of the dark. And her dad teaches us her some dhikr that she can say to invite the angels and the noor into their home. Um, Under the Ramadan Moon by Sylvia Whitman. This is a sweet story about a family and their experiences during Ramadan. Uh, we've got the amazing calendar quilt here. See that? There we go. Um, that's by Zubia Imami Sheikh. Um, all the books that I mentioned here, by the way, I will link down below in the description box. So if you want to find them, you can go get them yourselves. So yeah, this is about about the the Islamic calendar months. It's a really nice way of teaching your kids. It's got a little rhyming story inside and a poster. Um, I think it's out of print at the moment, but you might be able to find it secondhand somewhere. Uh, this is Ramadan Moon by Naima B. Roberts. This is probably the most famous, the most, most well-known of all the books. Um, the illustrations sound beautiful and it's again about family's experience during Ramadan. Uh, Night of the Moon. Here we go, Night of the Moon by Hena Khan. Um, this again is beautifully illustrated about a little girl and what she feels during Ramadan and again referring back to the moon the whole way through. It's very similar to this one by Naima B. Roberts um, but just, you know, it's got its own um, flavour. <laughs> Um, Sweet Dates to Eat, a Ramadan and Eid story by Johnny Zucker and Jan Baja. And uh, this is a story for, I'd say, like the under three-year-old, maybe fours, um, about um, these two little kids and how they feel about Ramadan. And again, it brings in Eid into this story. So if you're looking for a book for Eid uh, to teach your kids about what to expect, this would be a lovely one. And the last one, again about Eid, Eid for Everyone by Hina Islam and this is a story about various kids from lots of different backgrounds and their, how they get ready for Eid and also it teaches them that Eid is not just about receiving presents, it's about giving, particularly giving to the poor. So that's a lovely story for Eid. So that is just some of the books that we have been using this Ramadan. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe and thank you so much for watching. Bye!